Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, the court call the roll. Uh, President. Present. Uh, Vice President. Uh, this meeting is in compliance with the open meeting law. Uh, public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, come to the podium and give your name. For the record, the amount of discussion will be limited on any one. That conforms with the new uh, uh, announcements of the open meeting in the beginning. We have uh, possible action is the approval of the final minutes for the June 21st uh, meeting. And if there are any comments, we have a motion. Mr. Chairman, I was not voting at that last meeting, so I abstained from voting on this item. And neither was I. All uh, we were, but we hadn't. Receive the minutes. Why don't we do this? Well, Why don't we hold the minutes until our next regular meeting? Yes. Uh, that way it gives a chance to um, review those and do that. Before we we open up this for new activity, can we, Courtney, can you give us a brief update? This is where we're going to hold the meetings from now on? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll they'll be here from now on. Again, um, uh, like normal, it will be as needed if we have right. applications submitted. Um, same time, 12.15. The clerk's office now will be taking the minutes and sending out the packets and the emails so the communication will come from the clerk's office regarding meetings. Um, and I think that's it. The, oh, the other thing is um, now all of the uh, staff reports and the agenda will be available online, just like Planning Commission and City Council. So that is a good... Excellent process. Yeah, excellent process. Yeah. And you have all of our emails. So, yes. I mean, they can, if anybody wants hard copy, they can ask for hard copy, or if the email is a, an appropriate dispersal method. Correct. Um, you can do it that way, whichever works. So my only question would be, is this one seems pretty simple, uh, but a lot of them are the large sheets and colors really tie in to what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't want to add additional expense to the city or anything. I'm just questioning that. Uh, because usually, and again, when I get them, I drive by the locations, look at the colors, mm -hmm. look at the print. And, and this is simple, but when we're looking at some like we did for the bank, there were 14 different signs, right. and we're trying to see placement, and we try to see that on something like this, uh, so I just leave that up to the group. We are, and, and Flynn, we need to maybe just flesh this out further, but I think that we talked about the planning department continuing to send out the packets. So there might have been some confusion with this first meeting, but I think that the planning department just, and also for the Historic Preservation Commission, we will be sending out the hard packets in okay. color. Okay. Um, I don't know. We, we only get them mm -hmm. in 11 by, or 8 by, 8 and a half by 11 now. Um, so I think we can. Normally, Courtney, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe we receive them like on Thursday or mm -hmm. Friday. Right of the week before, and I usually drive by the locations over the weekend to prepare okay. for the Tuesday meeting. And the other thing is, too, um, we, uh, the clerk's office had mentioned maybe having a, a big screen TV in the future so that we can call up the items uh, for to be viewed on the screen as well. So I think that would help. That would be a much better way of presenting it so um, we can see the scale. Right. Or at least visualize it because most of us are blind. No. Okay. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> getting there. Getting there. Does that sound right? Did I miss anything? I, I believe that's correct. Okay. And Angela will correct us if we're wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. I need to help clarify that. 
Uh, now let's go to item five, ARC 42640, DDRC public hearing, applicant uh, Floresco, sign owner, City of Las Vegas for possible action and re request for sign review for an existing library and museum at 88883 Las Vegas Boulevard North. Uh, this is a signage review request for the Las Vegas Library and Lead Discovery Children's Museum within the scenic, Las Vegas Scenic Byway, the, um, excuse me, the Las Vegas Boulevard Scenic Byway Overlay District. The applicant is proposing a 32 square foot double sided freestanding sign with blue and red exposed neon bordering the top portion. Las Vegas Library will be spelled out in red exposed neon and the Lead Discovery Children's Museum spelled out in blue exposed neon. Staff is recommending approval of this request as the proposed signage meets the requirements of the Scenic Byway Overlay District. If this request is denied, the proposed signage will not be permitted. The applicant may appeal the board's decision or present a redesigned sign at a future date. If approved, a permit cannot be issued for 14 days after which the appeal period will have expired. Okay. Would you like to uh, present what you're proposing? Uh, or you're in agreement with staff's comments? I'm in, in agreement with staff. Comments? Yeah, is this in public right away or no. is it okay? It's uh, ten, about 10 feet back of the end of right away. Okay. The end is, uh, five feet back. All right. And is that an old sign directly behind the new sign? The old sign is all down. If you're looking at uh, it, it has right here. Yeah. This is so that's not this is super, there. That is superimposed into the top where the property is to show it against the building itself. Okay. So where the old sign is is actually attached to the building. No, it's not. The old prefix no. itself. That, okay. That, the sign the sign between all the building and just the wall. Okay. One question. Um, if this is approved, are you planning on doing the sign right away? As far as I know, they're, they're wanting to get this done. Because I guess the information. I understand the, the lead. Yeah. Children mm -hmm. may be relocating. It's some I think it's probably a year out. So. Yeah, they've already actually approved the building for the new Lead Children's Museum at Symphony Park. And so I guess. Your question is the same as mine. How does this lend itself to be modified if there's a new tenant that comes in to occupy that space? Shouldn't be that difficult just changing the name on uh, to show who the new tenant was. Does the library, uh, is the library going to stay? There? I know the Children's Museum moves. Does the library move library also? Stays. No, library the library stays. stays. Yes. So we're talking about on the lower half of the sign. Uh, that would have to change as that moves over the, to the Performing Arts Center. And I, I was just trying to uh, at least ask a question so it isn't a matter of if they change it, does this whole thing have to come back and they go through another, uh, or can we put a condition? I, we can, I, Whichever staff's comfortable with it. Yeah, we could place a condition upon this just with the understanding that the tenant is going to change in the near future. Something to the effect that any proposed changes to the sign that are in conformance with the code may be reviewed and approved administratively by staff. That's, yeah, yeah. That, that covers what I, my concerns. And I, I don't think you guys have a problem with that. Um, any other comments? Uh, motion? I move to approve. Was an amended condition? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Ed. <laughs> sorry about that. Flynn. <laughs> You're so much better at that. Yes. <laughs> no second. Second. Okay. Uh, there's a motion for approval um, with the amended condition. Uh, any other comments? Please cast your vote. Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Before we go to citizens' participation, I know it's not agenda, but um, we have to yes. uh, 
appointing you to the board, or uh, we, or we'll do that. We we'll do that the next meeting. We will do that on the next. Okay. Meeting. All right. We want to make sure we get all. Okay. Um, now we get back to that portion of the citizens participation. This public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the board. No subject can be acted upon unless uh, the subject is on the agenda. If you have any comments, please come forward. Give your name. Seeing no one, uh, we'll adjourn the meeting.